from AM 1430 WBEV. Time for more of today's community comment. Here again is your host, Craig Warmbold. Well, thank you very much, and uh, welcome back to this final segment of Community Comment. Today, I'd uh, like to welcome into this segment, making her third appearances in uh, three shows, uh, with this time with Downtown Beaverdam, Inc. Downtown Beaverdam, Inc. We've got uh, Bev Bielek. Bev, how are you today? Good. Thanks for having me yet again. It's, it's wonderful having you here. You've been here in other capacities over the last few days, but uh, it, we, we've got you here now with your Downtown Beaverdam, Inc. hat. That's right. Got uh, that hat on. But you were telling me something as we were going out of the break that I was not aware of, and I don't want to get off on too far of a tangent because we don't have too much time, but the, the plant that we have now, for those watching us at DailyDodge.com under the video tab, they can, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. I just broke the plant. Yeah, stand. Okay. Well, let's bring the plant right into, now you had, you had a hand a in. a very special plant. What, what uh, w- now this was our plant. It's your plant. Uh, but you stole it from us. I borrowed it. You, bar- you borrowed it I from borrowed us it. a few months ago? Oh, no, about a year ago. About a year. Were we about aware of the fact yes, that you had taken it? Yes, I got it? official permission. Okay. And you did, did. what? You what, you rescued the, it, the plant? It needed a little repotting. It was in a small pot. And, okay. And I love plants. So you, you've got a green thumb. I was sensing its agony and its tightly bound pot. I did not know this about you. See, I learn something new Secrets. every day. Secrets. So this is a little something special that only our listeners at DailyDodge.com, I'm sorry, viewers at DailyDodge.com under the video tab can, uh, uh, can see. Great trivia question for some time. It, it may be. That's, that's a good point. Bev? And it is a piece lily. Oh, a peace, a peace a lily, lily. because I had asked you that. A variegated uh, peace lily. A variegated peace lily. Did it take a lot to rescue it? No. No, it just needed some love. And I understand. And it was getting love here, but you guys are very busy It, it might not have been. It's a, there's a very good chance that people. it wasn't. Uh, it's iron, my understanding that you took a little piece of the plant, and now a piece of the plant is... Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. And now, did you get the bill from us, or is that did something... Did not get the bill yet. All right, we'll, we'll make sure that the appropriate... Duly noted. Uh, people uh, <laughs> send that out to you. Uh, how are you? Good. How have you been? It's been Good. such a long time I know. since we've had you here in a downtown Beaverdam Inc. capacity. This is true. It has been a while for that. What it's is probably your... been since Holiday Parade last year. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would have been a good six-month yeah. stretch. What Now, what is your role over at Downtown Beaver Dam Inc.? Um, I am a member of Downtown Beaver Dam Inc. board. I'm currently serving as their secretary. Okay. And prior to that, just a Downtown Beaver Dam Inc. member. Mm-hmm. Um, interested, be, number one, because Church Health Services is part of the downtown, and that's where I work. We wanted to be involved, and, of course, that segued into a little more time and some more volunteer time, but it's a great organization. I think that you're aware of many of the things that are going on downtown. And while downtown Beaver Dam Inc., otherwise known as DBD, I can't claim that they have helped all that, that they have brought that all to fruition. There's more to come, and we feel like we've been definitely a part of it. So we are, our purpose. That's uh, my question. Is, my next is question is what is your purpose at downtown Beaver Dam Inc.? To do whatever we can to help revitalize the downtown, to bring people back to the downtown Mm -hmm. and you know last year's mural festival is a great example yeah uh the mural festival brought more people to the downtown area especially after hours you would see people walking around watching the painters watching the artists and even afterwards coming down taking pictures that's part of what we mean by revitalizing downtown. Now, you can't always have a mural festival because it mm-hmm. costs a little bit of money, and you're, we're going to run out of walls eventually. There's still more I to think come. we're willing to There's risk that, though, right? That's a, a, there, there a are other problem we're willing to have. In the works, but DBDI was very instrumental, and it was, the, it was because of many, many volunteer hours by... DBDI members other than myself that helped bring that Wild Dogs Mural Festival to reality. And we do have plans for additional murals. And that's not why we've got you here today. We've got, we're we're here to talk about it. It is a a big piece of that. And we do want to talk a little bit more about the uh, potential murals that you've got uh, up your sleeve over at downtown Beaver Dam Inc., which is a, uh, which is a uh, private nonprofit organization that essentially uh, would work with a, a public entity like exactly. the city or mm-hmm. the chamber, perhaps mm-hmm. another private Absolutely. nonprofit, in trying to achieve these goals of what you're talking about mm-hmm. with downtown revitalization. And, Can't and claim credit for it all, but it, you know it's a vital link in that uh, in, in the whole fabric of what's going on down there, right? Absolutely, and I, I think most of us today know that it's collaboration and partnerships that make things happen. Mm-hmm. Um, unless you have $10 trillion in your 
checkbook and you just pay for it all? I don't. Do you? Uh, you know, I, if I did, I would do- donate it all to fix sure. a lot of things. <laughs> so we work by interacting with uh, one another. Uh, Downtown Beaver Dam Inc. Uh, is uh, an organization that we are always encouraging and looking for additional members. Um, and you don't have to have a business downtown. You don't have to be employed downtown. You don't have to be employed. You could be retired and be looking for things to be involved in and have a commitment to our mission, which is to revitalize the downtown and do what we can to make it a thriving area where people want to be and be seen. And Why? Why, why does it matter? You know, we, and we've heard this. Uh, there's other sections of the, the city that need uh, attention. Why should we care about the downtown? Do. I, I care because a dead downtown or a dead mall site hmm. is really a blight on our community. It's not vibrant. It's not alive. People have no reason to go there. And things tend to look worn and unloved and maybe start falling apart. There's a community not far from us where one of their corner buildings is falling apart. Mm. It doesn't reflect well on the community, and it doesn't encourage people to invest dollars in the community, either by shopping or by renting or leasing a building for their own or buying. And so we want, it's not just that it looks nice on the, on the outside, but that there's some vibrant life going on on the inside, too. Empty buildings aren't conducive to that, so we want to get those buildings up and running again, something in them. Maybe it's another nonprofit. Maybe it's a retail store. Maybe it's a restaurant. Maybe it's a new brewery. Maybe it's a wine-tasting business. These partnerships, uh, uh, the, uh, the collaborations don't work without partnerships. Um, the best way to forge partnerships is through social events. And that's the reason we've called you here today. <laughs> Just because we do have uh, what actually we have a, a relatively newly formed membership committee. We've had membership committees before, um, but every year things can potentially turn over. So we have a really good uh, membership committee that is working at touching base with former members of Downtown Beaver Dam Inc. Uh, reaching out for new potential members. And one thing that we have learned and found out that a good uh, a good way for people to get to know more about your organization is to have a, for lack of a better term, a social. Uh, an opportunity to come where there are no strings attached, um, have some of us who are on the board available and, and interact in conversation and... Uh, we try to have the spots, the locations, if possible, in a downtown area, building, area, business. Um, the one in particular I'm talking about that's coming up is June 14th, which I believe is this Thursday. That is this Thursday. And uh, we will be, it will be hosted at Stooges. So anybody and everybody that's interested is welcome to come to Stooges from between 5 and 7. I mean, you can come before, you can stay longer, that's as long as they're hours of operation are in effect. You can come whenever, but we will be there between five and seven. And we are hoping for really great weather so that we can enjoy a beverage, be it water, be it tea, be it soda, be it something else out in the beer garden and enjoy the mural that happens to be on the wall. That's one of the biggest murals, I would say, of all of them, Mm -hmm. if not the biggest. Um, you know, I I didn't call you here to to pick your brain and put you on this spot. Maybe the Segelski's mural. Oh, yeah, that of one, course. I think yeah, without that. question, right. Uh, but in uh, city limits proper, I bet I you have the biggest one there. Uh, but, but again, the idea is to get people together to talk about uh, advancing the downtown into the closer and, and to this to vision. And how to make it happen. What can we do? What, yeah. Who can we interact with? We always invite um, our mayor and any city, any city people who want to. It's open to everybody. I can't say that enough. Sure. Um, certainly, we'd love to have you, especially if you're interested in... Uh, volunteering. Maybe you don't know if you want to be a member, but maybe you want to help out with the project. Uh, maybe you want to be a member and you want to volunteer. Or maybe you know somebody who knows somebody that has an idea and just wants to air it in the light of day. Yeah, come on down. Uh, come on down. From 5 to 7, we will be there. We are planning to have another one probably in September, okay. but that's not ironclad yet. And if you want to know about these events and when they happen, we do have a Facebook page. We have a Downtown Beaver Dam Inc. Uh, Facebook page. There is a website. And we also do, um, we publish a monthly 
update, DBDI update newsletter, and that is available to any member via email, um, but we also try to have some printed copies, like at Blackwater's the library, okay. places like that. Is, is there any type of, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, formal agenda or, uh, or um, I, I maybe agenda that's planned uh, for the social for the on social? Thursday? Any kind of... Uh, um, um, if the mayor is there, we'll certainly give her some time to give a little update or let us know what's happening since the last time we've gotten together. Uh, we do have board meetings the second Friday of the month in our 138 Front Street building at 8 a.m. And any members are welcome to attend okay. along with right. the board. But this is a social. Um, this is a social. So we really just want to get to know people. We okay. want to get you introduced, get us introduced, and see what's on your minds. Yeah. Uh, we will have a supply of our mural brochures, which have descriptions of each of the murals, a little bit of history, and a map inserted into them. So those will be available. If you can't make the social, though, they're also available through the chamber, or you can connect with us uh, via Facebook or email us on our website. There, there's an, I believe it's an info at email. All right, fantastic. That uh, social again is this Thursday, June fourteenth, five to seven p.m. at Stooges, and and you guys are already looking ahead to the fall and to the uh, the winter for some of the things that you might have planned at that point. You could probably use a few hands we to could. make light work. We could, which is another reason for me being here. We're always looking for volunteers, and we do have some <clears> larger <throat> events coming up. Um, that have occurred in the past. And, of course, we always want to make them bigger and better, and many hands make light work. So I mentioned the social that we're planning in September. It is not uh, set in stone or cement or anything yet, so it is subject to change, but we are hoping to collaborate with American Bank and have our, our next social possibly um, in their newly designed and ready to enjoy garden in the back of the building. You did say American Bank. I said right? American yeah. Bank. Boy, that's hard, isn't it? As opposed to American getting National getting used Bank. to that yes. change, it's yes. it's not been easy. But uh, it <laughs> it's probably even harder for them that are I working there. I think it there, is. So. I was talking um, to Amanda, and she mentioned that part. But another vital uh, component of the downtown when we're talking absolutely. about the vibrancy of the the business community down there, they play a very important role. They absolutely do, and the fact that they are investing in their building and their property to make it an even better place to be. I mm -hmm. mean, that that garden and sitting yeah. area is, is going to be awesome. It, it's going to be bigger than the little garden and park that InterQuest put in between their two buildings. Which but is beautiful, still, too. Still, it's accessible to the public and it's yeah. usable. Yeah, and and that's you know these are the ideas that you're uh, looking to mm -hmm. uh, to be able to get yep. at the social that we're talking about on Thursday, from five to seven over at Stooges, and uh, you know not just ideas but people that can put those ideas into action. I imagine is a big component of that. It it is. It, it takes a lot of people. Uh, so some other things that are coming up, and we're always looking for volunteers to help us with this. Uh, we are planning some fall activities, hopefully to occur in October. Again, the committee is actually meeting once I get done here, and we'll be talking about putting a little more detail into the general ideas, but we're talking about the possibility of having a scavenger hunt that people could participate in in October. Uh, pumpkin decorating, and we're looking into the possibilities of not using real pumpkins, but rather using the uh, well, kind of like foam carvable oh, pumpkins right, sure. and have a decorating contest, which I think are it, we'd like to display them throughout downtown buildings. Oh, yeah. All right. And then we don't have to worry about the spoilage factor. Yeah. Yeah. So we thought that was a good idea, but we're investigating that. Uh, something else that someone has expressed an interest in helping with is um, having like a hidden object search. So some sort of beaver dam related object um, offer clues via perhaps good karma. May, we would be love. We'd love to help. Or the paper. We used to and, be located downtown. Yeah, but to help us with the clues and the publicizing, and if someone finds an object, great then they may win a prize, but then we want to have more clues and another place to hide it. So okay. it's so kind of like a scavenger hunt. Kind of, All only right, with a, a very specific object that you're looking for as opposed to get a picture with crank warm bolt and Which is easy. bring it in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and that's just the fall. You guys are already planning the, uh, the well, winter activities, too. Sadly, I don't know the exact number of days before Christmas, but it's going to be here it's right around the corner. It. Yeah. And that's something that... It seems that, like we just had snow on the ground. I know, we did. We did, in <sighs> fact. Uh, holiday events, 
that downtown Beaverdam Inc. has been very involved with and we continue to be involved with is the uh, window decorating contest that we have downtown, the coloring contest, which we expanded to reach out to middle school, high school, and adults. And that was pretty successful last year, so we want to enlarge upon that. And, of course, the holiday parade. Yeah. I think everybody's aware of that one. And that's all. those are all activities that uh, DBDI volunteers, board members, committee members help make happen. So we're going to see the coloring contest and the window decorating contest all part so. of the festivities again this I year. I think so. I can't speak for the committee vote yet, but... That is wonderful to hear. Uh, in the meantime, we just have a few minutes on the program, but you did kind of tease the idea of the murals a little bit earlier. Uh, I did tease and, it, didn't it, I? So, what is the latest with that? So, we might be seeing some more murals that uh, oh, that pop up. Huh? I think you will. I, right. I'm, I'm positive you will. I just can't tell you exactly when. Okay. Can Can you tell us exactly what they will be and where they will be located and how much they will cost and where they will be located? No, I and don't. When? Have, I don't have all that. Well. No? For example, we still need to do uh, put some finishing touches on some of the existing murals with a clear coat, okay. which is a protective sure. piece. So there's still work being done for, for last year's... There's still work being done. The Gould mural, which is located on the Villemans building on South Spring, needs to go on the Fast Eddie's building, but there needs to be some wall repair done And the city there. just approved that. And that is in progress. Yeah. So once that's completed, then that mural will... Then you'll be ready for the we'll next phase. Be over there. Uh, we currently have a contest going on where we are asking, um, I believe not adults. I believe it's under eighteen okay. artists to draw, paint, draw, uh, do a design of a a a beaver. We are Beaver Dam. And that beaver can be doing some sort of work or be at play, and those can those completed um, pieces can be submitted to Jessalyn Brown at the Beaver Dam Area Arts Association, because one of the things we're looking at is a children's related mural, oh, wow. uh, and with the beaver theme, I oh, know that plant loves you. It's a one, <laughs> wonderful piece, Lily. Peace be with you. Yes, thank you. So that is a mural that. Still has to be. We're waiting to get okay. the entries. Um, so that's one mural at least that we're talking about, and and that one will need to have a mural design developed, incorporating those artworks into it, and then of course, what size and where will that be located in a budget? So those are still things that are are to be determined. All right. So we'll see at least one more mural. The hopes are to have more than that, though, aren't there? I believe, yes. All we right. we want to be the most mural city most mural okay close. Yeah, and uh, you know uh, over the over the months and years i've heard uh, a fred mcmural might be possible uh, bigger Definitely. than the one that we have at the skelsky building maybe maybe dedicated just to fred mcmurray beaver dam Definitely. beaver dam's own so that, always a possibility that's still on the table there could be a good karma mural there could be we and just yeah the possibilities for that mural uncle are bill endless. dressed in a beaver outfit i mean the ideas are endless there i would think there is another little event that downtown Beaver Dam Inc. Is, is it's just in the talking phases. And we'd like to, you know, Sun Prairie on Groundhog Day has their Groundhog wake up. And Phil, Puxatani Phil yeah. wakes up. Jimmy is in Sun Prairie. Yeah. Jimmy is in Sun Prairie. Well, we are thinking about having a beaver, a beaver wake up and see a shadow or not see a shadow. Wow. Because a, a rodent, it's still the rodent. It's a rodent is a rodent is a rodent. So I mean, stay tuned. That that would be very that would be that would be big, I think. I we would cover it. I would be there. I'd bring the peace lily with me. Well, it might be cold. You know, we're we're really out of time. We're over time, in fact, Bev. Can can you kind of wrap everything else uh, uh, up that we've talked about today in thirty seconds or less? I can. I would just encourage anybody who wants to learn a little bit more about Downtown Beaver Dam Inc. and what we're trying to help bring to fruition here in our community and or has ideas to join us on Thursday at Stooges between 5 and 7 and we'll listen. We want to hear from you. So then the idea would be to have what, like the mayor take a live beaver out of like a wooden box or something like that? Uh, uh, out of a hole in the ground? Uh, we got would, something else in mind. Yeah. I don't want to give away our it would be a, It would be a live living rodent though. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe or maybe like a caddyshack kind of gopher? Is that I, what you're thinking? That's not a beaver. It's, it's true, but it would, I mean, modeled after like a we, puppet, possibly. Or something else. You're going you're gonna to have to stay. Uh, I assume you'll be back on the program tomorrow. Um, <laughs> 
this is to make it four out of four <laughs> shows in a row. No, you need is a break. It, I do. I need a break. All right, <laughs> need a break. Uh, Bev. Thank you so much for joining us uh, today again, and uh, we look forward to the next conversation, whatever awesome. day of this week that may be. <laughs> All right, um, or month, or month. Yeah, uh, Bev Beal. Well, we'll see you for. Of course, you're a radiothon Children's agency. Radiothon next week. So right. that's you. We're gonna, you're going to be all over the airwaves here. You'll I'll be will, eating abroad. You, will you be? Where are you? You want to do another plug? At for, Leroy's. You'll be at Leroy's. And for the new Thursday, one in Fox Lake? Between 10 and 2. For Church Health Services. Rots and Burgers for sale. You, you guys haven't won the DCS Cup every year, have uh, you? No. This no, could be but, your year? But our partner, the YMCA of Dodge, and ourselves, we are working hard. All right. Radiothon is next week, Thursday. Starts at 6 a.m. In the meantime, The Social, the reason we called you here today, Downtown Beaver Dam, Inc., it is this Thursday from 5 to 7 p.m. over at Stooges. Indeed it is. We'd like to see you there. More information on your website. Pack the place. All right. That's going to do it for today's community comment.